Okay, Brad, what is the worst thing you and I see from patients after they had a total knee replacement? The worst thing? Yeah. A grimace in face, Bob. We're going to reveal the answer. Yes, Bob, we got some magic to show you. Well, not exactly, but... Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. All right, the worst thing we see, Brad, let's mm -hmm. get right to it. That's right. They're hurting, they're, it's swollen, it's maybe a little bit red, and they go, well, I'm going to rest it until it starts to feel better. It's just Big a, mistake. It's a normal tendency. You got pain. When you move it, it hurts more. The body says, let's just leave it relax. So we got to start getting it moving because you're, it's a race against scar tissue. Yeah. There's scar tissue being formed in the knee, and it's going to restrict your movement if you don't get it moving. Yeah, break the scar tissue up, allow it to form with the knee. And once you start moving, motion. it will start feeling Oh, better. absolutely. Okay, so after surgery, we want to get it moving bad, and... In bed, you got a few options. Right. The first one? Well, we want to get the knee moving by sliding it like this, but you'll find your heel will catch on the sheets, and it's a problem. Especially we've, on a knee that's sore. Yes. We've had right. people for options to take like a cookie sheet. We don't have a cookie sheet here, but this works good on carpet to slide, but it, it doesn't work so good here, so that's not an option. So really the better thing to do is use a knee glide. So it's very lightweight. I can hold it with one finger, and you can actually, it glides along very easily. And I'll put this in place, Brad, and you can demonstrate. Yep, and it really works nice in bed because it is just free gliding. You you probably want to put in a, a little towel, towel right. especially after surgery. Protect that heel, it might be a little tender. And look at this, it just glides. We want to stretch down here. Come up and stretch, you know. And you can have somebody help you, yep. or you can use a belt. Yep. You can put this around the bottom of your knee here, and then, oh, yes, get that knee bending. And straighten it out, a little push here. And you can work on straightening and yep. bending, yes. Yep, exactly. So uh, Brad's going to show us now uh, a method to work on straightening the knee, where you just put your knee on. And, I mean, your ankle on a roll towel yep. and let gravity do its work. Yeah, so you just put it there and just relax. And, you know, actually, Bob, this is one thing I've done with patients where if they tighten up? Or? Well, no, if they need a little more stretch and it's painful, I'll put a cold pack oh, on their at knee. at the same time, right. And, yeah, the weight of the cold pack will help stretch. Plus, it feels a little better and you get that stretch. So it's like the carrot and a stick. Yeah, you take the carrot and then you <laughs> eat it, and then well, you, I don't know what the uh, heck you're uh, talking. <laughs> well, anyways, that does work well. Okay, so once you're able to get out of bed, Brad, and sit up, I'm again going to recommend the knee glide, mm -hmm. or you could possibly scrub the floor with a rag on the floor, or boy, it's a been sheet yeah. or. We've been in this for about 30, you've been 30, 35 right. years, and it's always been scrub the floor, right? Right. You initially, throw a rag down on a shiny floor. But it doesn't work on a carpet, and you do this motion. I've had people use a tin, a uh, cough, or not a cooking sheet, right? Or a some, garbage bag, yep, or anything that makes it slippery. Really crude. Yep, but it works, so you can certainly do that. Um, the knee glide is something it's that very spear. It really is, and there's a few reasons why. First, it just works well, but we want to get that knee moving while you're sitting, right? Okay, so and we're if, gonna get movement. We're gonna get strength. We're going to release those natural lubricants, Brad. And you can do this instead of having the therapist push on your knee and then you kind of don't trust him so much. Right. You take your good leg or her. or her and you push and stretch to get the bend. If it gets too easy, you can take, actually take your heel and go off the edge of the, the you, foot plate. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Is that feeling good and stretching? Uh, also, you can use it to straighten it on the chair. And you go out like this. Push down, All right? Extension. Now, this is where this really shines right. is when you want to change next feature here. Change the angle, and then you got a downhill slope. It helps with moving down for the stretch, and it helps strengthen the quads pushing up. Doesn't seem like much, but after surgery, right? It's all. It really uh, show, shines. You go the other direction. And it works the, the quadricep a little more, and this works the hamstring a yep, little more. Exactly. And then you're going downhill for your straightening. 
There you go. And the whole thing, as like Bob mentioned before, it's so light, you can get it out of the way. Easy to clean up uh, if you happen to get a little yeah, dirty. Yeah, Brad can lift it, so. Um, <laughs> So, anyways, Thanks for watching. That's uh, it. No we can more. Fix about anything except, except for a broken heart. A broken heart. Yeah, but the knee glide has got nothing to do with that. We'll so, work on it. Yeah, we'll, we'll have some option there in the future.